Welcome back to a new episode. Have you ever been trapped by your smartphone? If you have one, let's listen to the song and decide whether or not smartphones are good for us. Do you know the wonder of a smartphone? It replaces many devices by one. A calculator, a reminder, a calendar, a clock, and a telephone. Oh, I'm not done. A television, a radio, now some games. song, we saw that smartphones have replaced many devices into one. We also saw that when you think you are just spending a few minutes, in reality, you end up spending hours on your smartphone. So what do you think? Are smartphones good or bad? In our episode, Fadi, Rose's younger brother, has a small, well, actually, a big problem with his phone. Watch the episode to find out. Hello everyone, welcome back. Right now, let's find out what Fadi's problem is by watching the video. Fadi's smartphone addiction. Fadi, Fadi, get off the phone. You have homework for tomorrow. Mother said, Rose, why don't you check what Fadi has while I prepare dinner? Okay, mother, said Rose. Rose got Fadi's bag and took out his notebook. Fadi had to study addition. Fadi, Fadi, Rose called her brother, but there was no response. Fadi, you have homework. You need to come and do it, she added. No shouted Fadi. I don't want to do my homework. I want to finish the game on the phone. Fadi, if you don't study now, I will tell your father. Uh-oh. Fadi got. <coughs> I'd better study now, he thought to himself. Fadi and Rose studied together. Fadi solved his homework without any mistakes. He didn't even need Rose's help. Right after he finished his homework, he raced to the phone to resume the game. Soon after, his father came home. Dinner's ready! Mother declared. Everyone came, but Fadi did not. Fadi? Fadi? Mother called, but Fadi did not respond at all. Rose, go tell your brother to come at once. Mother told Rose. Fadi! Fadi, you have to come, Rose told him. Not unless I finish this round, Fadi added. Fadi? Father went to talk to him. I would like you to come and dine with us. Family time is a sacred time. I'd like to know about your day, what you did, and what you learned. And indeed, that's what they did. Everyone had a peaceful dinner. After that, it was time to brush their teeth and go to bed. But Fadi did not fade away. He took his phone and resumed his game. I'll beat the high score this time, he told himself. Hours passed by and he was still awake. He couldn't sleep until dawn. Fadi, Fadi, mother called his name to wake him up. I'm too sleepy to open my eyes. Fadi complained. You have no choice, mother insisted. Fadi and Rose went to school. Fadi had math. The math teacher handed out papers and told them 
that there was a surprise quiz. The teacher handed them papers, and the papers read 19 plus 11, 27 plus 13, 62 plus 18. Fadi, Fadi, the teacher called. Fadi had not done the quiz at all. He raised his head with sleepy eyes. The teacher looked at him all surprised. She called his mother and told her what had happened in class. So mother punished Fadi when he got back home. No more smartphones, no more games, not until you pass your test. So, did you like the story? Have you ever been in Fadi's shoes? Being in someone's shoes is an English expression, which means, have you ever been in a similar situation? In other words, have you ever been addicted to your smartphone, or maybe a game, or anything else that has kept you awake at night and distracted you from your studies? What do you think you should do about it? Right now, let's go back to our text. We will read a couple of sentences and figure out how the main characters were feeling. Are you ready? The first conversation happens between Rose and Fadi. Fadi, if you don't study now, I will tell your father. Uh-oh, Fadi gulped. I'd better study now, he thought to himself. So, what do you think Rose and Fadi are feeling? Happy, angry, hopeless, impatient, disgusted, sad, afraid, disappointed, or hopeful? All right, let's check the sentences up close. Fadi, if you don't study now, I will tell your father. At the end of the sentence, we can see an exclamation mark, which is used to show a strong emotion. Before this sentence, if you remember, Rose called Fadi many times, but he refused to come. So this means that Rose is running out of patience, or in other words, is becoming angry, or we can even say she's getting aggravated. Rose feels aggravated, angry. Let's move on to the second sentence. Uh-oh, Fadi gulped. I'd better study now, he thought to himself. Now, in this sentence, we have an important keyword, which is gulped. Gulped means swallow quickly because of a strong emotion. Now, how can we tell how Fadi felt? Fadi starts his sentence with the expression, uh-oh. What does it mean when people start like that? It means that they are in trouble, right? And when people are in trouble, they feel worried or scared. Right now, let's revisit the video again to answer more questions. Everyone had a peaceful dinner. No more smartphones, no more games. Not until you pass your test. Here is my first question. Why wasn't Fadi able to wake up in the morning? A. He wasn't able to wake up because he stayed up late studying. B. He wasn't able to wake up because he was sick. C. He wasn't able to wake up because he was playing on his smartphone. Did you guess the answer? Is it A, B, or C? The correct answer is C, because he was playing on his smartphone. All right, the next question. Why did Fadi's teacher want to call his mother? A, Fadi's teacher wanted to call her because Fadi did not do well on his test. B, Fadi's teacher wanted to call her 
because Fadi slept in class. C. Fadi's teacher wanted to call her because Fadi refused to do the test. Be careful. We might have two correct answers here. Are you ready? The correct answer is or are A and B. Fadi's teacher wanted to call his mother because Fadi slept in class and as a result, he did not do well on his test. All right, kids. Today, we learned about the problems we can get into when we stay up late at night playing on our smartphones. With or without our smartphones, we should always sleep early because it is better for our health. That's all for today. I wish you a peaceful night from now. Until I see you again, stay safe and be good. Bye. لمشاهدة المزيد من الحلقات زوروا سات سفن بلاس